Alrighty guys, we are here for the first episode of our WWE 2K24 My GM series. So, I don't know how the series is going to go. Before we get started, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications down below. We're not going to waste any time. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. Our GM is going to be yours truly, Dylan Marlin. Don't worry about any of those downloads. Um, I think we're going to go with Raw. We're going to be a prime time. Um, and I want to book as many uh, people in here as we can. I think we put some respect to some guys. William Regal, we're going to give him NXT. Um... So forewarning for you guys, I totally went through here already and I accidentally quit out and did save my problem. But we're going to go through and our last guy, Theodore Long, we got to give him Smackdown. All right, confirm selections. So uh, we're going to go hard and hard. I'm going to go random order and that's it. Okay, so if you're worried about, if you want to read any of the tips, anything, I'm sorry, we're not doing that. It's the Season WWE one. Draft, and the Here we landscape go. So, is about to change. Each GM will start with a budget of 2.75 million. GMs will take turns drafting one after the other. There will be nine rounds of drafting. After the ninth round, drafting becomes optional. GMs can opt out of draft until they are out of cash. GMs can press R3 to get recommendations on who to draft. You can also press square to get more information. Pick number Superstar. one from ECW. All right, ECW is going to take Jimmy Uso Away, first off. Smackdown. Smackdown. Choice. Charlotte Flair. Full raw take with their first All right. pick. So, first things first, I want to lock down men's division, right? Because they have more titles, nothing against the women. Um, and specialists can go with anybody. So, I, ooh, Cody Rhodes is right there. He's got more stamina. Rogers Gotta go with Cody. Cody. Gotta go with Cody. It's undeniable. All right. Cody Rhodes joins the roster. Randy Orton going to NXT. Everything. Great and here to we start are. With. And then a specialist for the woman. I want to say... Uh, 62 to 58. That's saving a lot of money. Let's Ross go with Bailey. Bailey. There the we go. Model comes to Raw. This superstar matches up against anyone. Even the Here first we go. pick. Jay Uso to SmackDown. The NXT GM ready to turn in the second pick. There we NXT go. NXT ready for the third All pick right. of the draft here. Raw's GM ready to turn in their third selection. All right. Now let's look at the recommendations here. We have a uh, Bobby Lashley, Kofi Kingston. Um. Here we go, Tommaso Ciampa, Carmella, hmm. Bobby Lashley could be an awesome 90 Bobby stamina too, we could put him through Bobby a lot early, Lashley. that's probably going to be pretty big, the especially when we don't have a ton of superstars, high Bobby stamina, Lashley. he's a great addition, even if the WWE go. Universe disagrees, Dijak going to Smackdown, Candice LeRae going to ECW, Pick number four from Smackdown's, Smackdown's getting Scarlet, a lot of options left, who will go fourth to Raw? All right. Um, and a face. He would match up well with Bobby. Trick Williams. Huh. Our truth. I probably should go Dexter Lewis. Probably better. But let's Wrong go with Trick Williams. Trick we'll Williams. raise Trick some stars around the here. Gift of gab and the gift of jab to All a right. new brand. This Duke Hudson going so to Untapped potential. It's scary. Montez Ford. Okay. NXT preparing their fifth round pick. All right, NXT MVP. Raw back up for their fifth round pick. Now, we got to get a good face on this roster to match up against uh, Bailey. Bianca Belair is so expensive. Come on. Uh, faces, faces. Uh, Nikki Cross. Ugh, stamina. 68, 68. They're all pretty low. 89 for Tegan Knox. Uh, maybe we'll get a big hitter uh, person too here. Uh, I could break the bank on a Becky Lynch if I wanted to. You know what? Women's pool is going to be lower. Let's get two specialists. So they can all work together. The man is coming to Monday night. We'll spend some big she cash. We got Bailey and Becky Lynch on the same roster. Brand. That's big time. Ivar. It's another big pick for all Monday right. Night Raw. So they're recommending Eric. Get up good matches against Trick Willie. Uh... Baron Corbin against Trick Willie, Drew Gulak. What's Drew Gulak's reasoning? Um, any fan favorite superstar. We do need another heel, so we'll keep that in mind on the men's division. Uh, Eric's a good heel. He's got 90 stamina too. We'll go with Eric. We'll go with Eric. Ross I like that. Eric. Eric looking to evade. All right, so him and Trick Willie is probably going to get into a rivalry to early. Link. He'll show he's not an afterthought. All right, and we're back on the board. Dexter Loomis is on the board. He could get in some good fights. We only have two women. 
we have to add another get woman. Uh, Maxine Dupree. Uh, she's pretty cheap. Her stamina's not that great, though. Dexter Loomis. He could get him some good fights either way. Who's available in the women's board? A lot of big names. I don't think anybody wants to spend the cash, though. Um, how many women cruisers are there? Not a lot. Maybe we should lock down a cruiser now. Get like a get Neo Sky. Rocks is stamina. Neo Sky. There we go. A genius of the sky, looking for control of this brand. And exceed Chad Gable. Let's go pick. This show quite well. And Elton Prince going easy dub. All right. NXT is wide open here with their back next on the board. selection. Piper Niven. A make or break pick for the land of extreme. Machine. Mission. A tough choice awaits the SmackDown GM. Max and Dupree. The Raw GM taking right. stock of the talents. I mean, yeah, we could be do that. Let's Windy not worry two. about... Uh, we have so many specialists set up right now, so we can actually two. get some good matches. Really, it doesn't really matter. To be a future player here. All right, round nine. This is the last one that we have to do. Okay. So... Heels. Carl Anderson's a phase. Um... Could that be a good round out? No matter what, we can put him against whoever's not challenging for with Cody Rhodes on the main event scene. That is an option. Our truths another one too. We're already down to 725 for a budget. I think we have to go with Carl solely be, so we can save money. Ross we'll go with Carl. Carl mm -hmm. Anderson. A real there we go. Got him a pick here. Isla Dawn Carl going to Anderson. ECW. He is buckled down and ready Tiffy to take time off. going to SmackDown. The of extreme with their next pick. All right. Ilya Dragunov going to see Doug. That's, pretty, that's a good pick. fit. Damon Kemp in NXT. Of opportunities here for All right, Raw's round 10. Selection. We could just leave it here, but I would like to round out the women's division. We have a we have a one heel, Bailey, a face, EO. Who matches up good? We need like a face that could get a good fight in with uh, EO. Raquel. Oh. That might be perfect. All right, that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for Raquel Rodriguez. And that's going to end out our draft. We're under, already under 500K. It looks like everybody else is kind of struggling, too. We might have broke the bank a little more than they did. We're going to end our draft. Finalize that. Look at that. That's. I'm not going to lie. I'm not mad at it. So us, the GM of our show, we have Becky, Bobby, Eric, Cody, Bailey, EO, Trick, and Wendy Cho. The SmackDown GM is preparing their next SmackDown's going to still start keep picking. Only They're the down to 260k. Omos going Could to ECW. Could be a make or break pick for NXT Gigi here. Gigi Dolan staying in the NXT. The next member of SmackDown is about Uncle to be Howdy. picked. Uncle Howdy going to SmackDown. That's Take interesting. Take a look at the talent on the blue brand. All right, and Teddy's done. He's got Montez, Dijak, Eric, Charlotte, Jay, uh, Cruz Del Toro, Scarlett, Maxine Dupree. ECW still going. still going. Ricochet yeah, is going to ECW, dub and they're done. Final pick. Okay. Paul Heyman's got, uh, oh, I forget that guy's name. That's a chase you. I think that's Josh Briggs. Uh, oh my God. Bronson Reed, Jimmy Uso, uh, Rio Ripley, Kit Wilson, Candice LeRae, Michin. The NXT All right. GM NXT's still options picking. Here. A lot of ways NXT in the bank. can go here. Let's still see going. what they pick. The yellow and black brand All is now right. complete. That's a pretty solid roster, too. I mean, I think uh, Randy Orton's going to be carrying this brand for a while, but they got MVP, Joe Gacy, Julius Creed, Orton, as we said before, Alexa Bliss, Chad Gable. Is that Tamina? I don't know. And Piper Niven. Okay. Some amazing brands formed here. Wow. I can't wait to call the action. This is pretty crazy. All right. We have the smallest roster by far, but here we go. Hall of Fame, it's everyone's dream to someday make it into the WWE Hall of Fame. To get there, you'll need to prove that you have what it takes to manage your roster, money, and brand. Complete career achievements and seasonal challenges, earn trophies, and beat the opposing brands to the Hall of Fame. To enter the Hall of Fame and prove you are the best, be the first GM to own 10 Hall of Fame trophies at the end of the season. Ties are broken by most fans than most cash. Trophies can be awarded through either career achievements or seasonal challenges. Entering the Hall of Fame will allow you to continue playing or retire your save file. You know best. Good luck. All right, Phoenix, Arizona, four weeks until hell in a cell. Unread messages and conversations. Every week you'll be able to present it with your unread messages. You may receive messages from the commissioner, opposing GMs, or from superstars. Many times the conversation will be used, will lead to a promise. You'll find those in your journal. If you ever for, forget, make sure to check since each promise should be fulfilled within a certain time. 
All right, Triple H. Tonight is the night of the debut show. We have high hopes for you. I was born for this. Got to be confident. Good. I'm expecting big things to Raw this season. Making an amazing show. And Theodore Long. Holla holla. Ready for the new season. Just finishing our prep over at SmackDown. We're going to have some outstanding matches this year to try to keep up. All right. Selecting your champions. It's time for you to choose your inaugural champions. You can choose a superstar for each title or leave them empty and have them determined later. Choose carefully because title holders get a popularity boost and title matches get a match rating boost. If a title holder ever leaves your roster, you'll need to book a title match for the open title to assign a new champion. Okay. So I was thinking it'd be a cool idea if we didn't have the titles already, but it would give them the popularity boost, which we could really use early on. All right, Royal World Champion, it has to go to Cody, I think, right? Um, his popular is 59, 60. Yeah, let's get that going. Plus 10. Um, I think, uh, we'll give this to Ivar. So we can go there. And we can give out the tag titles, really. I mean, the roster's really too small for it to matter. But we could go with a Carl Anderson, Trick Williams. You know what I mean? That's a little face team. Uh, Raw women's title. Uh, we'll give it to Bailey because we have, she's a heel. We have more faces on the roster. Uh, Raw women's tag champs. Uh, let's give it to these two. Let's give it to Wendy Cho and uh, Raquel. Like I said, it's gonna be a little combust. Like, you know, it's gonna be a little odd to have it this way. But once we get a bigger roster, spread out the divisions, you know. All right. Uh, how home is where you make it. The home tab is your one-stop shop for all the info that a GM needs to know when making those important decisions as you create your show. Journal, journal is where you'll want to go. Keep on the low, 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 All right. Here's a big one, guys. Commissioner goals. Each show, the commissioner will have a new goal for you. Completing that goal will keep the commission happy and earn you a, a rare power card. I'm sorry, not available in the power card store. Season challenge. This is where you can view the current season's challenges and the progress. Completing challenges will reward you with additional power cards. Completing five challenges within a season will reward you with a bonus Hall of Fame trophy. All right, GM assistant. Easily keep all of the info at your fingertips with the GM assistant. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, you earn this power card from the basic power card superstar perk. Um, select a contract a superstar on your brand to become a permanent superstar for your brand. Only use one unbook superstars. Contracted superstar on your brand to become a permanent superstar on your brand. Okay. That could be huge. All right. Do not book. Really? I'm sorry, Triple H. That's not happening. He's waiting to see how your show does. Okay. Book 10 shows with interference. Um, I don't really want to look at these. Um, booking your show. Every uh, show will have a number of matches that must be booked. Each time you book a match, you'll see it displayed as a fight card. Okay. Booking your show. You can also book multiple promos per show. These are optional, but I highly encourage you to make use of all your super stars. Okay. Booking show logistics. These are the show logistics where USGM will have finer control over the booking of everything outside of matches. Okay. Each category houses seven different tiers. The highest unlocked tier of each category will be used until a higher tier in the same category is unlocked. All right, higher tiers require a one-time fee of assets and cash to permanently unlock. PLE arenas are the exception to this rule. PLE arenas may only be purchased and used during PLE weeks. Assets too, uh, you'll accumulate assets which are required to unlock further. Okay. Booking show logistics. Oh, there's so much here. Okay. Talent skills. What? All right, guys. I'm gonna take some time to familiarize myself with all this, and I'll get back to you in a second. All right. So first things first. Um, I think we purchased the uh, email campaign. I think that's a good thing. Um, so we can spend that cash there. Um, we don't have any more assets. So we can't. But that's gonna give us a thousand dollar on the network deal payout. Also unlocks tornado tag, which maybe we'll use later. Um, I also think now that I'm here, I might want to expand the roster slightly. Um, so, sh 
let's 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 start booking the show real quick before we get into anything crazy main event okay this is where the magic happens in order to book a match you'll need to at least rock to book two superstars i don't know why i keep saying rock booking matches yep uh yeah okay this seems pretty self-explanatory main event cody Rhodes. all right and he's gonna be facing bobby lashley um booking interference you'll have two options choosing interference run in or gm interference run in so you choose a superstar to run in on another superstar chance will end in a dq but a great way to love uh, level up rivalries gm interference provides a nice sh show bonus but causes interference superstars to be quite upset so book carefully okay i don't think i want any interferences anything like that i think put the title on the line try to get some good views early get some cash flowing in here so that is that we are going to fail our commissioner goal because of that but i don't believe i care um in the opener we also need a big time match so let's put uh what do we want to do what do we want to do what if we put most popular we'll just go for both world titles we'll put the women's title in here against bailey i mean against becky um a one-on-one -on -one match uh you know what stamina stamina uh we'll hold off on that for now um i want to see what's their stamina levels here now what's the penalty on this uh stamina costs low medium uh okay so extreme rules you know what let's just go extreme rules put it all out for the uh it's his match specialty so maybe he upsets him with that um that'd be good uh participants here we go let's go for uh some mid card matches we'll put eric against uh heel we'll give him a trick willy uh against that's just a regular match there oh wait what if we do a uh interference cost two grand for interference uh let's have carl anderson yeah 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 let's do that let's do that the tag champs working together um okay yeah that's fine um and then uh we could also have um who do i want we'll have uh we'll have a uh, wendy go up against Yo, Sky. Wait, no. We want Wendy to go up against. There we go. That's a good clash. Um, put that there. Booking promos. Yes, I understand. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, let's just go with self promo. Let's see if it works at all. I'd rather put it all out there. Um, we have no free superstars. So I'm going to go with the talent scouts. 25 popular, 24 popularity. These are really bad. Okay. Uh, can we promo skill? Can I look for like a, let's go for like an established star. Give me like a promo skill of four or five maybe. And uh, roll, doesn't really matter. I kind of just want to build a, build my stars here. We'll search that, uh, confirm that. Okay. Brooks Jensen. Oh, you know what? I think we just got to get some good guys in here to um, build some popularity with. You know what I mean? Let's sign him for uh, nine weeks. So we got him for two PLE cycles, basically. Um, and we can use him as like a... You know, insert him to be a guy to take some hits. I also kind of want to sign you. Just so you can eat some hits as well. Alright. Uh, here we go. Self promo. Promo skill, yes. There we go. That's big time. And then we also want to put what's your name? Uh, you're gonna be really bad, but small bonus of fans for the week yeah that's perfect all right i think we're gonna go with that's week one and let's confirm the booking starting the show here's your show snapshot where you can get a quick overview of everything booked for the book of the week this will be your last chance to make any changes it's gonna cost us 39k we do have the email campaign going on 
Um, the show is going to cost us... Yeah, it's not too bad. Phoenix, Arizona. You know what? Let's just go with it. If I messed up, I messed up. It's whatever. Welcome to your first show. Welcome to your show. Here you can choose to simulate, spectate, or even play matches. This is where viewers will come to rate these matches and promos you book. Don't be surprised if they're harsh critics. If you're in a rush, feel free to simulate the entire show by pressing. Okay. Gotcha. You know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to... This is SmackDown. Okay. So this is a good time to check everything out. Um, we're just going to simulate all the other brand matches, really, for at least now. Scarlet vs. Charlotte Flair for the world title. Good matchup. Charlotte Flair walks out on top. I saw that one coming. Rivalry starter. Okay. And they get a three and a half star to start out. Self-promo. Okay. One popularity. Maxine Dupree's running in on this one. And Tiffany Stratton comes out on top. All right, one and a half star. I kind of expected that. World Tag Titles. Two, three. Ivar and Montez. New Tag Champs. And then the World Title Main Event. Jay's the Champ versus Dijak. Another Cruiser versus Giant. And Dijak is the new champ. What? All right, now we move over to ECW. Uh, Duke Hudson versus for the ECW World Championship. World Television Championship, probably. All right. All right, I like this. All right, they get a good call-out promo there to build that rivalry. We'll get a triple threat match here. Candice LeRae. One and a half star, not too bad. Big Bronson Reed. Wow, plus 11 on the promo. Great job. Omos versus Ricochet. This would be a banger match. And Ricochet walks out with the win. Mediocre. They didn't like that. That's okay, though. They're building rivalries first week. Two, three. Jimmy Uso stays ECW champ in a great three and a half star match. All right. And now our show time. Here we go. I say, you know what? We will watch the main event just, you know, to watch a match for this week. Um, and we'll see how it goes afterwards. But the opener, we're going to have Bailey versus Becky Lynch. Two, three, and Bailey retains the title. Two and a half star match. I'll take that. I'll take that. Self promo, weak. Didn't upgrade at all. That's okay, though. Uh, Eric versus uh, Trick Willie, and Carl Anderson's running in. Let's see if he can help his tag team partner out, and he does. Trick Williams, two stars. No rivalry there, but Brooks Jensen up in that popularity. We love to see that. That's exactly what we signed him for. Raquel versus Eo, a nice middle of the card. And Eo Sky comes out with the win. Mediocre, but we have a rivalry going. That's massive. A charity match. Hey, it doesn't matter. We got some fans. And this is the match. Cody Rhodes versus Bobby Lashley. Extreme rules. Let's get into the match. Here we go, guys. Monday Night Raw emanating from Phoenix, Arizona. In the middle of the high school. We all got to start from the bottom somewhere. Power. Perhaps Here we go. The strongest man in WWE. And Bobby Lashley, the almighty, challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship. Here we go. And here we go. We're going to skip this uh, little introductions here. We don't have time. We already spent long enough on this episode. And let's see what's gonna happen. Controllers down. We're gonna toggle info though. The energy Current camera broadcast. Oh, already going for a pin? One. Okay, good kick out, Cody. He's looking to get this match go. in short order. Uh Ooh, I like that. Cody, big hit. There we go. Alright, I'm messing around with the camera here. Overhead shot. Big suplex. Cody the big stomp. Another big stomp. Some grounded punches. And now let's get in there. Here you go, Cody. Let's see what you got. Bring the arm down. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, yes, Bobby. Get some weapons. Cody's rolled out, too. He's got a chair. He's, got He's grabbing one. What does he got? Oh, the sledgehammer. 
Lashley's pride Ooh. of it. He's yeah, hyping up. Mouth style of Punch to the gut. Coming to the surface. Big punches. Looking at that. What are they looking for here? It looks like a punk handle. Oh. Into a power slam. Wow. Here's a pin for the title. A pin. Here we go. The champ of one a kick out immediately. No so read. Cody has now. to get more damage in this match. He but... got whipped into that corner. Oh, big clothesline. Although it's extreme rules, they really haven't used them that much. So, big reversal, forearm, gives him to the back row, headlock, punch to the head, and he goes down. All right, kendo stick time. There we go. Use it, Cody, on the legs. There you go. Bam. Keep it up. He rolls away. Big bulldog. Cody's got a signature. He and he's calling Bobby to his feet. Where does he go with this? Whoa. Road to oh. the middle road. Cody Cutter. Cody Cutter. He's son. He goes for the cover. For the win. One. Two. two. Kicks out. He cuts out. Kicks out. But you guys know what comes next. He's rolling away now. Not what Cody needed there. I'm rooting for Cody in this one. Big punch, knocks him off the apron. Lashley now. Lashley has to trust He's going up top. From the top. Cody! Oh, Big outside. elbow and drop. That, you know Calling him to his time. feet. To the metal right now. Cody, way to use the... Oh, oh big reversal by Bobby. I think he was going for crossroads there. Slam him down to the ground with that big fist to the back. Big punch back. Get back in the ring, guys. Reverses into the steel steps. No count out, as you guys know. Extreme rules. He's going to use the hurt lock out here. But it doesn't matter. If he taps out out here, it doesn't count. Cody's taking a lot of damage right now. Still was able to produce some considerable All right. damage, though. And a suplex? Stalling suplex. Oh, my. What a show off. Bam. Big kick by Cody. Here you go. Boom. Into the seal steps. Here we go. Throw him across. Oh, man. Back right here. Hyper extend your elbow. Using that Cody's got a chair. Calling him up. Oh, Bobby knocked out of his hands. Oh, he missed the seal steps. Bobby into the seal steps. There we go. Taking this one back and to Bobby's the Bobby's back now. in the ring. He's got the kendo in hand. Coming to find Cody again. He heads out of the ring. No Kendo time. Big clothesline no by Cody, though. Not letting it happen. Ooh. Throw him against the barrier. That steel guardrail. Big Kendo shot. Another big Kendo shot. The Kendo's broken now. Don't get a splinter over there, Bobby. Elbow to the leg. Oh, repeated. Oh, my. Road is getting physical in Extreme Rules. All right, throw him back in the ring. Oh, Bobby's gonna reverse though. He's not gonna let him. Here we go. Grab him. Nope. Got it. Okay, guys. Guys, we gotta get back in the ring, preferably. Cody's dragging him. Get him back in the ring. There we go. Back in the ring. But Cody's grabbing something on his way in. He's got a trash can. He's got planned with that, but I know it ain't good. Oh, he didn't hit him with it, though. Here we go. Slam his head back down. Here we go. Punch him around. Cook. One to the trash can. Cover him. One, two. He kicks out. He uses resiliency. All right, what do you got, Cody? What's your next move? Some grounded punches. There you go. Come on, Cody. Out of the ring. What's his plan? What do you got? Wielding the sledgehammer. He's got the sledgehammer. Oh, Bobby stopped it though. Grabs him back, Cody. No, reversal again. He's a big gut kick. 
Punch him around. Hurt lock. Is he going to lose the title? Resiliency. He stops out. Drops down. Throws him against the ropes. No, Bobby reverses to the corner. Big punch. Now Bobby's grabbing the trash can that he was already planted on. Oh, big shot in the corner. Oh, another big shot. Trash can falls out. Where's the ropes? Here we go. One, two, three. Cody lost the title. Here is your winner. What? championship with it wow this is the kind of moment you dream about as a competitor bravo wow. to him so the main event of our first monday night raw it's cody rhodes losing the title to bobby lashley in extreme rules a three and a half star clash rhodes versus lashley rivalry we love to see that and then we have NXT to find it off. So they're leading with the NXT Men's Championship, Randy Orton versus Kit Wilson. I'm assuming Randy Orton. No, Kit Wilson. What an upset. Two and a half star. Like I said, Randy's probably going to have to carry this show for a little too popular to gain. Uh, Mid-card tag team women's title match. Roxanne Perez and Gigi Dolan. And they got a rivalry as well. Damon Kemp. Okay. One, two, three, North American, Chad Gable. Pretty fitting, all right. Call out Julius Creed, okay. Tamina and Alexa Bliss in the main event. And there they go, and they get a three and a half star. Pretty good. Post-show breakdown, here is where we begin to break down the show. The graph on the right displays the drama curve to get the best match card quality score. You'll want your matches to try and follow the drama curve as closely as possible, okay. So, post-show breakdown, select any match to get additional information about it, including popularity gains, stamina losses, rival information, okay. So, for us, let's look at our popularity curve. It was pretty stagnant. Uh, no, actually, we followed it pretty well. It was a pretty good layout. Um, our main, All of the main events tied. Um, SmackDown had a killer show. I mean, their one match bot was the blow, but besides that... Um, nothing out of this, uh, main event match here, uh, match report, nothing there. Rhodes Lashley rivalry, Rodriguez Sky rivalry, that's big, that'll carry our mid card. Um, but the only rivalries we got there, okay. Alright, let's just continue. Raising viewership and gaining fans. Here's the breakdown of how you can gain fans. Hint, it's all about the rating score. To do that, you'll want to get high show quality and match card quality scores as well as have a decent amount of star power and bonuses. Raising viewer. Okay, all of that will be calculated into your... Okay, blah, 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 blah. I get it. I get it. You want money, you want fans. Okay. Social media. All right. So, SmackDown. They got a million fifty nine thousand. Um, plus 59k, plus 53k in money. Okay. Continue. ECW. Plus 40,000 fans. Plus 57 money. All right. So that's pretty fair. We. Plus 42,000 fans. Plus $19,000. Uh-oh. But we did... We signed people. That goes into effect, right? Uh, right? Fast? Sure. We'll save that for now. Alright. Network deal payout. There we go. Alright. So, 127. Alright. Alright. Becoming number one. Alright. So, right now, we're number two. We have second most fans. We're tied with NXT. Uh, it's still really close, obviously, but SmackDown is going off to a strong start. Pittsburgh, PA, week two, three weeks until on a cell. Select the opposing brand who must use a tier one arena logistic during next. That's fine. That's what we were going to use anyways. Select the opposing brand, double the cash cost of their talent scout searches next week. We just won't do it then. That's fine. Select the opposing brand is Spart next week with zero scouting points. All right.
All right, so I'm gonna go through this and then we'll call it here. So Teddy Long, uh, you like that sabotage? This was all my strategy, baby. That was completely unprovoked. You made yourself an enemy. You know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Give me a bag one of these days. Should see about that. Uh, Eric, that loser Anderson attacked me during the last fight. I'm not going to stand for garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with him the next within the next three weeks. I can do that. All right, small increased Eric's morale. I'm not happy losing my strap last week as a for, as a former champion. I'm enacting my rematch clause. I want a championship rematch against Bobby. Nobody else better get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship before me. I can do that as well. All right, so we know that. Do not book your most popular giant this week. I think that's Raquel, and she has a rivalry. All right, we'll get to that next week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification down below, and maybe we have a next part. I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all next time.